all off the bench at Ohio State over the last two seasons behind JT Barrett his first college start and they give him an easy throw to get him started Leonard Fournette the younger brother of the and Burrow knows it they give him time he has a man open they have a first down D Anderson the ball comes Swinger, the sort of new offensive coordinator you had the job before and has it back now good tackle well for anybody involved he's now the interim head coach at Maryland with that big win yesterday Burrow on the run up for grabs and broken up by the new man into the coaches say he's very smart very poised very accurate and a good athlete he can make plays with his feet he's surrounded hit as he throws and it's an in And Dylan's got to come down with that one. Burrow got away from Demetrius Jackson, ran out of time, and threw it away. And he caught 69 balls for the Red Raiders two years ago. Burrow on target, first down. Here comes a Miami blitz. Burrow got it off. And players only meeting as well. Back to the pistol for Burrow. The son of a coach. His dad, Jimmy, longtime defensive coordinator, Ohio U. He's here tonight. The handoff to Nick Brosette. All kinds of running room. Off to the races. And into the end zone. A touchdown for LSU from 50 yards. Set in high school ran for 141 touchdowns, the state record by a mile. 118 have been the record by Kenny Hilliard, went on to play at LSU. But now Brosette, a senior, just scored his first touchdown as a college player, as a senior out of University High School in Baton Rouge. Perfect call by Steve Ensminger against that Miami defense. Extra point up and good. From the former Assumption Greyhound, Cole Tracy. Now, let's take a look at two more to Jiffy, brought to you by Jimmy Lou. Well, we talked about Joe Burrow being the son of a coach. He is going to see the safety, Jaquan Johnson, show blitz. And when he sees that, he's going to change the play. He's changing it to a run away from the safety blitz. And it just so happened they caught Miami perfectly in the movements and the blocks downfield. And instead of just going to Hyde Park, Massachusetts, great city of Boston. Quick pop to Justin Jefferson. 13 and a half to go till halftime. Burrow being chased to the sideline, cuts it up the field and gets within a yard. Third down and 10. Burrow after a short set throw behind the receiver nice catch made by Giles great effort after the catch by Giles. We are now in field goal range Burrow Under pressure threw it away just straight north south running Burrow has them up quickly has a man caught at the pylon Jamar Chase I think they're gonna say he was out before he crossed the pylon just inside the one yard line. Yeah, they confirmed there was no signal. The ruling on the field is a completed catch. First down. A little stop and go, a little stutter step by Ch You look like a pretty good coach if you were coaching <laughs> Warren Sapp and yeah. Russell Maryland and Cortez Kennedy. That's, That's really where Ed made a name for himself. His team up 17 to 3 and out firing wide open receiver Justin Jefferson. Lost the ball, but he was well out of bounds at the end of the play. Burrow on 
target for 37, much of it on the run. Really good pass protection. Because of the motion, they weren't able to press cover on Jefferson. He had off coverage, the corner had outside leverage, and that in route was an easy throw and catch for Burrow. But it started with excellent protection and a nice first down throw. And I think this... Benzminger back as offensive coordinator, but the results speak for themselves. Burrow hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Here are the problems as we take a look at the replay. There you see Burrow just getting rid of the football, avoiding the sack. Jefferson trying to work back to the ball. Well, we have progressive pylon cam. We also have official hat cam. I'd say he had a pretty good look at it and building all day, but the coordinators take a lot of heat at a place like LSU. Boy, it looked like there was holding in the end. Only meeting we talked about in the first half, but no ill effects for LSU. They are sharp tonight. Quick hitter. Boy, I like this. LSU came out in this possession. 101. Second and goal. LSU. Willis, Willis bat the right decision. They have 27 on the board against this Miami defense. Not even midway through the third quarter. Senior from Hallandale, Florida. They come after Burrow. He got hit as he throws, and it's dropped. Second. All right, Holly. Burrow got it off before he was hit. Up for grabs. And caught. Or is it? No, it is not. Steven. When they had the big lead, they took their foot off the gas a little bit. Ooh, dangerous play near their own goal. Stops in good field position. Another Miami score, and it'll get people's attention. Burrow says so much for that. We mentioned earlier the coaches said he's a good runner. He's 11 yards in the first down. You know, the talk in Columbus when he was competing with Dwayne Haskins was that he was actually a better runner. And the clock will take care of itself. Let's move the football and take care of it. Burrow on target. Justin Jefferson's had a nice night. On third down, Joe Burrow, the grab transfer from Ohio State, will take off and run at East Miami. Two tight ends, Brochette in the backfield. Play action, Burrow looking long. Incomplete intended for Justin G. The numbers didn't stand out against Miami, but he got his team into a lot of right play calls, made a lot of changes at the line. Pressure coming. That one complete to the freshman. Had a game time field goal yeah, attempt blocked. Like Burrow to Brosette out of the backfield. Yeah. Tiptoes the sideline from Berglund. Burrow gets rid of it quickly. He's got Chase reaching into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. The longtime defensive coordinator for Frank Solich at Ohio. Burrow play action has time floats one to his tight end and that is false picked out Steve Ensminger who was very successful with him two years ago play action again Burrow rolling out throws on the run incomplete broken up that last week the victim of a couple of drops and missed routes also had uh, four throwaways so 11 to 24 really wasn't indicative he will run for the first down, and it'll be first and goal. Burrow keeps it into the end zone. His first touchdown as a Tiger. Ocean College in Worcester, Massachusetts. Hits the extra point. Joe Burrow has thrown a TD. Now he finds the end zone for him. Oh, they, they finished that game as hard as they could, but that's something they want to correct. Burrow. Will run again. Bounces off the tackler and finally dropped by the last weekend off. Start of the second quarter, and there is Stefan Sullivan, the big 6'6 wide receiver, who rumbles down to the 35, a gain of four man pressure. Burrow hit as he throws it, and that might be a live ball. 
where the kitchen sink comes. Here's the blitz. Burrow has to get rid of it. Burrow will throw. He's got Jefferson. Again. Somebody packs the box. They want to be able to throw the ball around the yard. Burrow's got time. Finds Jefferson. Flag is down. And Jefferson spun down. Transmanger to try and figure out a way to pick up 20 yards and three downs. Burrow with time on a two tight end set. Goes to the sideline. Burrow steps up, zings it over the middle, and through the hands of his intended target. That was Marshall again, third, third down and 12. Rosette, nice block in the backfield. That is incomplete, has two timeouts. Burrow to the air, drop. Three-man rush. Burrow downfield. Mora wide open at the 40. And this is just a blown coverage. You see at the top, they, they put Morrow out wide as a wide receiver in the corner there. Said, no, nah, that guy's too big. I can't cover him. He went for the slot guy, and nobody was on Morrow. Burrow flushed. And wisely giving them room. Those corners are off. So if they do want to try to get a five yard quick out, they have an opportunity. Burrow. He's going to have to chuck it downfield. He will. And Zorone is it caught. Touchdown. Six foot six, Stephon Sullivan. This is a classic Hail Mary, and Sullivan goes up higher than everybody else. High points to football. Even though there's four, five, six guys around him, nobody else had the chance. And how about Joe Burrow? He hummed that ball over 60 yards. Burrow to the air. Hit as he throws it. That's a pretty good setup you got there, Chris. I'm jealous. Joe Burrow on the run. Completes to Jamar Chate. Again, Lions showing pressure. Xavier Lewis, the former Tiger, on the corner blitz. Chase bobbles it, drops it. Covered by... And LSU has not scored in this third quarter. And Dijon Lynch was very impressive on film, and he continues to impress, impress. In a very short time, he's become a leader on this team. And he, he that was a designed approach, intentional. That's how he wanted to come in and, and get things rolling. And, and on the first... And he's going to throw on first down and completes it. at the flat, Justin Jefferson. Going to try to throw a screen, and he got it swatted back in his face by Deshaun Day. Fires a slant complete first down. Jonathan Giles with a third and long now. Burrow. Pressure coming. Got it right down the middle again. Justin Jefferson. And another first down. And we'll clear out. You get a clear out, you clear out, and come right behind him for a perfect square. And all the quarterbacks love that square in throw. And you got it. Actually, only one guy went deep, the other one went to the flat. But same idea. Clear it out. Get the square in behind it. Got by makes it second and goal. Nobody the in man. the middle. Man to man. He's going to keep it. Burrow try to step on. Got it. And he's close. Down to the one yard line. <laughs> Do with a touchdown lead. Edwards Elair behind Burrow. He fakes it to him. Comes up firing deep. Man up there. Did he keep his foot in? Yes, he did. So they back out of it. And Burrow on play action going deep to the near sideline. Incomplete. And he's still firing. Almost overshot Edwards Elair, but he made the one-handed catch and a first down. Suspended. 
Second down and 18 after the penalty. Burrow, this time he's flushed a little bit. Throws incomplete. Third down, especially this long. Third and 18. Burrow lofts it. High and incomplete. Intended for Jonathan Giles. The quarter, first down. At the 32. Burrow, deep middle. Just overshot his receiver who got level. Jonathan Giles. Man, they're letting Joe Burrow air it out. I don't blame him. Has not thrown an interception on the year. He's making all good decisions. He's throwing the... Four wide out group. Empty backfield for Burrow. Here comes the blitz. Burrow steps in again and again delivers. First down throw, D. Anderson. Allowed the receiver to get inside that time. And another easy throw, this time to D. Anderson. 13-yard gain on third and 12. Burrow, this time's in trouble and goes down. That's the first sack to throw. Third down and seven. He's going to run it. Behind his tailback, he doesn't get it, but now it's for to help your press coverage. Burrow throws it behind Leonard. It's a blind for Auburn. At the 22, first down. Play fake. Burrow sets his feet, fires deep right sideline. Got his man all alone. Justin Jefferson with a nudge and pass when he got his toe down. Watch the stop and go on this play. Stop and then go under throw, but adjusted to the ball beautifully that time. Play fake Burrow going deep on the left sideline, broken up. And a flag flies in late. Derek Dillon, the intended receiver, and that's Burrow, quick throw out. Jonathan Giles, and he just dropped the ball. Keep you out of those penalties. Burrow, slant, broken up. Nice play. Made a mistake this year. Do you trust him in this situation? There's the throw, incomplete. Clock state. We threw 11 passes. Do you <laughs> believe it? They come up throwing to start the third, and it's a good one. There you go. He's got At the 37. He, he had a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Burrow throws short. And Nick Rosette's got another first down. Back to back first. Until that last drive. Now that is going to be affected by the fact that left guard Garrett Brunfield is questionable to return. Boom. Boom. And Joe. Third and three. Opening drive, third quarter. Burrow. Throws on the run. Overshot his intended receiver. They come with an extra man. Burrow throws just over the outstretched arms of his intended receiver. An accent. <laughs> Stidham said he tried that with him. He said, we don't talk that way, man. Burrow. Complete. Nice throw. D. Anderson. Still going. And there might be a face mask at the end. That's going to attack 15 more on there. On the play. Watch this. Play action pass. Only one guy is going out for a pass on this one. You now watch it at the end him. of the play. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Grasping the face mask. Right there. Going to throw to the end zone. And out of bounds. Looking for a... Burrow. Almost waited too long and throws oh, incomplete flag. flag. First down coming. Burrow. He's on the right side. Three wides the other way. Here comes the blitz. Burrow has time. Goes to the corner. Incomplete. Broken up. Again, trip set to the left. Burrow wants to go that way. Running out of time. Throws late. Batted down. They started out almost getting a deep ball. Play action for Burrow. Deep middle. Good coverage. Though. Overshot it. On an eight. Empty backfield. Joe Burrow on the spot right here. In trouble. Got away from one guy in a second, but he's tripped up just enough by Derek Brown. Nick Brosette behind Burrow under center. Stefan Sullivan in motion. Burrow's going to throw it out in the flat to him. They've been dominated to the left of Burrow. Throws that way, complete to Giles. Davis is in his track stance. And it's going to be Burrow running for it. He's short. Knocked down. And screaming. Burrow 
on a play fake. Deep middle. Oh. Got it. Complete to Derek Dillon. Dillon on the run. Can they get him? Unbelievable. What a throw. 71 yards later. A two-point conversion coming up. this throw threaded it you see the Auburn defender jump as high as he can for the throw it was Davis number 57 it could not get there and then stays inbounds for the touchdown two-point conversion coming up fence eight for his last 22 but it doesn't matter when you can throw it like this just over the outstretched hands of Deshaun Davis the middle linebacker and then you walk in That's a gutsy throw right there. <laughs> I don't know if he did not see Deshaun Davis on the play, but it doesn't matter now. And as Joe Burrow said, Brad, we ain't going to win unless we can throw it. Derek Dillon's first catch of the season from the Chick-fil-A pylon can couldn't have been a prettier one. Somehow tight rope that side. Burrow. Looking left, back across the middle, and tried to tuck it in there, and it's broken up. Jefferson it loose. Daryl Williams and Jamal Dean, number 12, number 49. Just a joke. Throws, it was, and it batted, it I was think. tipped, yeah, it was tipped. Burrow, deep middle, overshot his intended receiver, Jonathan Giles. There's the offensive line as well. Edwards Elair behind Burrow, who comes up throwing. Tough throw, incomplete, knocked out of there by the yardage to have a field goal try that is makeable. And Burrow's going to keep this one all the way. Here comes an extra rusher. Burrow throws wide. Oh, what a catch! Wow! D. Anderson and a first down. It helps when you're 6'6. 339 to go. Burrow going deep now. Left sideline. Incomplete intended. And man, Stephon Sullivan over to join Derek Dillon on yep, the left. They're going to run it. Yep. And he's tripped up. Oh, Burrow again. And he got whacked by Davis up top. <laughs> and get the ball back again. They're one for two on fourth downs on the season. 0 for one today. Burrow over the middle. Got his man. First down. Stevon Sullivan. I tell you, I am tipping my hat to Joe Burrow, okay? Anybody can have a hot day and be able to throw the ball. But when you're having a bad day, you can feel those stats. You're six for 20. You can feel it. And he steps up in the fourth quarter and makes all these great throws. That's a guy anybody will play for. And the LSU team is watching this. I'm telling you, everybody's on that sideline. And be over 50 yards here. They need one more first down. Pressure. He lobs it. Incomplete. Intended for John. Or he brought the house. Will he do it again? Yes, he will. Seven to ten. Burrow. Lops it again for Jefferson. In and out of his hands. He's looking for a flag. And there it comes. That's just undisciplined football. You can't allow that to happen. He's grabbing Jamal Dean the whole way. Pass to the theory. Number 12, defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. You're all out blitzing. You're playing bump and run and watch. You put the pressure on, but he's throwing a 50-50 ball. Jamal Dean's left hand is grabbing on to the arm of Jefferson. See him holding down that right arm of Jefferson. He couldn't lift it up, and he got called. The job done over the first three games. He throws on first, especially on the left side. Well, you've got athletic centers in the front of your offensive line. They can get out. This is where LSU today, the communication has. Burrow hit as he throws into play action. And the pass fall. This is where Burrow takes shots to the end zone after a quick first down. 
He's got his eyes turned that way. He's got a completion and a stretch at the goal line. And a touchdown for Jamar Chase. And I'm telling you, if I'm a running back, I'm going behind him every time. Good protection for Burrow as he. Burrow with nice protection throws to a tight window and gets the connection to Terrace Marshall Jr. His third week, Derek Dillon, the 71 yard touchdown catch, his only reception of the year. On a crossing route, it's another catch. To Jefferson, he's been the go-to guy for Burrow. Here comes the rush. The toss is incomplete. The has definitely been terrific earlier, early on this season. They showed blitz. They drop eight. Burrow escapes the first wave. Throws and hits his target out at the 47-yard line. Still Burrow's got time and unloads to the sideline. Robertson is at his best, throwing on a run for a first down. And taking his shot, he's got it against one of the best corners in the country. They Burrow's got time, pressure from the backside, a hard hit, a helmet rattling hit. Big game, and Trace McSorley watching him it's going to be an outstanding game next Saturday night. Burrow on the roll, connecting with his long run. He's spelled by Brosette on first down. Burrow incomplete. Who just happens to catch the football. Big time player for the offense. After the penalty, they need 20 yards for the first down, and they get a huge chunk back. No. Do offensively with Innsminger calling the plays. Burrow across the middle, it's incomplete. So time and good field position here for the Tigers. Burrow's got four options. Nor has been shutting out Justin Jefferson for the most part this half. Burrow's flushed. Well, let's zoom out a little bit and say, okay, well, against the other five teams ahead of them in the top 25, there's a catch for a first down across as they go along into conference play. Justin Herbert, quarterback. Just remember that name. That quarterback climbing up the charts, Todd McShay. No. Under pressure, third down and seven. Now off the back foot and a floater to the sideline. Nice step. Second half. Burrows on the move. And a first down with the legs. You've got an MVP candidate showcase between Boston and Cleveland. Mookie Betts, J.D. Burrow pressured, falls as he throws. And play they've been looking for but hadn't been able to find up until this point. How does LSU answer? Now it seems like they've kind of been cruising a little bit, taking the foot off the gas. They got to start pressing it down the field. Here's a long shot, single coverage, and along the sideline, D. Anderson. We'll see as it goes along if he just continues to announce it. Burrow threw it toward the sticks. Wants to do, they want to continue to run the football and run this clock down as much as they can. Get a score here will help. Burrow's got four receivers into single coverage, into the end zone, a flag comes down as the ball hits the ground. 
but he didn't turn around. Pass interference on the defense, number 24. LSU on opening day NFL rosters. LSU always near the top. Burrow, the fifth change for them in five games. Burrow to throw. And complete to Steven Sullivan. State a week ago. That's what the LSU offense can do to them. Here's Burrow to throw. Goes set out of the backfield. And he'll be six defensive backs for the Rebs. Burrow to throw. And nearly intercepted. Fight. They're out here playing tonight with heavy hearts. Devin White in particular. Ball spotted at the 19. Take the pitch. And on the run, Foster Moreau, the tight end. If your attention is a little divided, at least for our first half tonight, Adnan will keep you posted on everything else going on. Ball on the money to Steven Sullivan. Press, press outside, and then allow the running back to cut. It's nice, nicely done. Ball to throw, taking a shot, and it's caught! Jamar Chase for the touchdown! Big time throw and catch here. Jamar Chase, just a true freshman. The back shoulder throw, gets the foot down inbounds. And Joe Burrow has made a living so far this season in the Auburn game and now here in the first quarter of this football game with a back shoulder throw for the touchdown. 79 and White. First down and 10. Off the play fake. Burrow gets it away. Racy McMahon. Down the sideline, spins once more, and loses the football. They're going to say he was down. He... Burrow trying to scamp around there, off the four nets. <laughs> it's raining, people. Get over it. Here's Burrow going to get out of it, and he will smartly get out of bounds at the twenty. About the little things. Let this roll, guys. You're going to see Joe Burrow, nothing open at this decision point. He says, okay, there's nobody here. This is the only guy I got to beat. Look at all of that. Great decision from Joe Burrow. It's Burrow again, the ball carrier. It's the Joe Burrow show time. A little AU, and it's a little bit of a different look, and I think it helps him. First and goal. Burrow to throw for it. Lost one! And Derek Dillon just turned around too late. Go the system. Off the play fake. Burrow who's rushed twice. Make it three times and he stumbles out of bounds. America needs more McShay matchups. <laughs> Here's Burrow to throw. And connect to Steven Sullivan for the first down. More than one back in the SEC. Throwing on first down. Jonathan Giles, excellent lines there. Second down and nine. Some pressure up the middle. Burrow on the run. Throwing and dropped. Bit of a bobble at the very end. Great throw from Joe Burrow. Again, safe throw. Looked like D. Anderson went in hard and hit the uh, equipment. Yeah, he hit the equipment to shed there. That does not feel all, good. With all the rain we had, especially before the game, it's like an old school field where all the, the rain drains down the side. These sidelines are an absolute mess. Let's check my shoes after the game. <laughs> You've got those aprons behind the benches that look like they're soggy as well. Catch is made. Right out, you know, and that's kind of, I thought that's <laughs> what you were going to say, what you liked about him most. No, I don't really, that really bothers me, actually. But he's on the run now. We'll check his socks after the play. Force him back. 26 rushes on the season coming into tonight. Gets 14 yards on the play there, and he is the Tigers' leading rusher. And that's his third rush of this game. And you see, when you're able to run and have the, the halfback be your lead blocker, you gain one on the defense. And now he looks to throw. Softening up the middle, and it was there. There is a flag down. Pass interference, defense number 10. I'm getting Ole Miss offside. Now they're inside the red zone on second and ten. Burrow to throw for it. Heavy contact. Easy flags fly. Julius 
on the coverage. Now. Second and six, Burrow on the throw. Lost one, man fell down in coverage. It's Justin Jefferson down the sideline for the score. 65 yards, another touchdown for the Tigers. comes off of the play action. This is just Jordan Jefferson in this defense trying to trying to come off falls down slips. There's nobody left and this is a reoccurring theme for Ole Miss defensively. Coach O told us that they just not expect to be in a 25 point hole in the second quarter. Burrow to throw. Gets the pressure. Able to get rid of it. Go wide open. Lacey McMahon. That goes against LSU. Here's Burrow able to get outside and throw on the run incomplete. Derek, the Sugar Bowl. Of course, they're dealing with a bowl ban this season for the last season. Here's Burrow, the ball carrier. Smartly out of bounds. Burrow gets the pressure. They're going to get him. And the football comes out. Ole Miss needs a break. Let's see if they get it. Ross Donnelly had the hit and knocked it free on both. Prior to the change of possession, oh. with a personal foul, face mask, number 90 on the defense. That kid would be enforced in the spot where the ball was lost possession. Automatic first down. Wow. That has a little tempo here. Why wouldn't they? More to throw. Looking left and throwing that way. Completing to Stephen Sullivan. And he has first down yardage. Yeah, we, we can't use the weather as an excuse, as McShay mentioned. LSU's making all the catches. They're wide receivers. They're not dropping footballs tonight. Steve, the weather is never an excuse. It's Burrow on the ground. The ball comes out. The ball comes out. Let's see if Ole Miss got this one. Oh, but certainly he's been on target. And on first down, Burrow comes out throwing. Down the middle of the field, off the fingertips. Paying attention, they might not see that. <laughs> that's when you grab in your chest. That's when you take matters in your own hands. I audible out of that. Among kickers, in the number of field goals made, it's 76. Yes. So, I mean, he has certainly proven himself. But it is amazing. They're just outside the five. So Pearl keep the drive alive to Leonard Fournette. Got some running room. Field on this LSU defense probably needs a breather. See what the offense can do. Burrow comes out throwing. Lots of big leads this season. And games have tightened up on them in the second half. They're trying to avoid that tonight. On the way is Terrence Marshall. That's one way to hang on to a big lead. Marshall down the sideline. Julius, the corner. You got to make this tackle. You're in good position. Okay, he makes the play, but look at that. I mean, that's just horrible tackling by this second. The running game for this LSU offense. Second down and goal. Four to throw. Justin Jefferson has fumbled their last two trips into the red zone. Here they are knocking on the door again. Four to throw. And it is caught complete. Touchdown, Justin Jefferson. An answer, and in a hurry, by LSU. a great route from Justin Jefferson. They identified man-to-man -man coverage. Watch the patience from the route to come inside, act like you're running a slant, and then go out to the corner. And this ball was thrown perfectly from Joe Burrow right in the breadbasket. That is well executed. Jefferson is, is their double move receiver with, with Joe Burrow tonight. And he continues to grow each and every week. I get it. Ole Miss is a horrible defense. 62 to 7 against this Ole Miss team. And we're going to have a dogfight against them tomorrow night. Now they've, they've played well, but you can see the difference. On the money to Justin Jefferson, spinning twice. For us. We are here to spread the love, spread the aloha. That's what we want to do. Right. So. Here's Burrow. 
Curry is called the heart and soul. You think, oh, the heart and soul of the offensive line. No, no. The heart and soul of the entire offense is that center. There's Burrow on the run, and he will smartly. Burrow's still running with the football. The Tigers' leading rusher will get him for the touchdown and take the extra hit at the end. Touchdown LSU, 35-yard run for the score for Joe Burrow. And I get the frustration from the guys in red. I do. Yeah, that's Cedric Woods who hit him after he got into the end zone right as he got in there. And Hustle. That's a hustle play from Woods. Now just don't stand over the guy. That's listen, you're getting your butt whipped here in this game. Justin Jefferson was the motion man, and it's Burrow on play action on first down and going deep for Jefferson. Got him. What big key didn't play against Kentucky, and that hurt him in that game. Quick snap by LSU, and it's out in the flat. The Burrow set down the sideline, and he's got a first down. Here on this one, this formation. Fooled Florida. They got outflanked instantly. You get around the corner. That's just easy because one of the inside the 20-yard uh, line, they've had 35 snaps of three wide receivers. Burrow getting some pressure. The fade to the corner. Overshot Jefferson. Go with the fade on the play. Stutter and go. Could have been completed, but it would have taken a perfect pass. Six. They can get a first down around the four-yard line. Burrow. A quick slant, they've got the first down inside the four-yard line. He puts it into the body of the receiver, and he allows the big receivers for LSU. Quick throw, out complete to Giles, and he's going down for a loss of one. Nice. He had moving that safety over helped the play. Nice throw and catch to the outside of the first down. Stephon Sullivan. Lineman to get on those linebackers. They call it a loss of one, a second and 11 as Burrow comes up firing complete. Be Look good and makes it work. Watch how early Burrow throws the ball before the receiver even turns around. Play action for Burrow. Far sideline, easy pitch and catch. The their ears pinned back, that front four. That's how many they'll bring. Burrow's going to throw a middle screen to Brosette. Wow, he almost got the first down. What? Here comes pressure off the corner. The throws to Giles. Giles got two. Moreau is making those blocks. Burrow's going to go deep on the sideline. Jefferson had it in his hands. Couldn't control it as C.J. Henderson. Was stumbling just a little bit at the end of the play and really couldn't get everything coordinated. Fighting for the ball. Incidental contact. Good throw. Hey, that's good defense. You Second and ten. Now the slant is complete, and it's short of the first down by a buck. Put it on the body. Big receivers throw it right at him, put it on their body, and they'll catch it. And then on third and one, your quarterback takes off running, as he did a week ago for 96 yards and a touchdown, this time on a big one. You know, you blitz, sometimes you're right, and sometimes you're wrong. That time they were playing the running back and a perfect keep by the quarterback probably was a read play. He pulled it and got a big play. The Burrow offense throwing the ball and running the ball has become a big weapon. You see it very aggressive. You use their aggressiveness against them. Guy that made the tackle for Burrow at 21 yards on the run down to the 24. LSU trying to pick up points here before halftime. Quick and throw on second slips here in the half. Burrow. Quarterback draw, and he only got two yards out of it. They've got all three and try to force a punt and block a kick. Burrow going deep, got a man out there, just overshot Jefferson. For LSU, though, as they start in Gator territory at the 42. Oh, Burrow got rid of it more with the catch. That's a spectacular play. Wow. That's a play that you just hope that your quarterback can make. It's impossible to teach a spin around. You got a guy in your face and throw it accurately all day by Joe Burrow. And a 14-yard pickup to the 28. Now the flare out to Brissett. Moore trying to block for it. He got to the edge, but he only got come again. Here they come. Burrow throws the slant, and it's swallowed up by who else? C.J. Henderson. 
Play action for Burrow. Loads it and fires deep left sideline. Overshot the intended receiver on third and 15. Burrow fires in the middle. Complete but way short of the first down. Derek. They send Jefferson in motion. Fake it to Brosette. Burrow on the run, throws late and out of bounds. Oh, not out of bounds. Look out over there. Auto. Jefferson, they fake it to him on the sweep. Burrow throwing to the back corner, broken up. Tris. The ground game has come to life. Both quarterbacks have had their moments. But remember, it was like. Our play action hit as he throws. Income for LSU, and it showed up today. Burrow trying to buy himself a little time. Now he's going to tuck it and run it, and he's got a first down. Took him into an on balance, but he fell forward. Got 13 on third and 11. Now he's going deep sideline. And and looking for a flag is yeah. Jefferson. There it comes. That'll be interference. That's the toughest play for Joe Burrow. Hit again. That's all LSU needs right now. With one time out to go, Joe Burrow steps up, throws short, complete, dropped, the medium four. Burrow throws incomplete, his receiver fell down. Blitz. It's intercepted by Florida. Brad Stewart. Burrow in trouble. Goes down again. It's time to go. Burrow steps up. Throw it. Out. Down he goes again. Another sack. Going to be about a minute left on the snap. Three man rush for Florida. Burrow. Far sideline. Tipped. Burrow loads it. Deep middle. Got it complete. They've only got one guy in a stance defensively, a three-man rush. Burrow throws to the near sideline. Jefferson, it went through his hands. It went all to the middle. He went to the outside, and it was a catchable ball. And one we've that seen Jefferson make a lot of these absolutely. already this year. That was almost one you depend on him catching. That was a perfect look-off by Burrow, and that would have set up rush three again. Will they bring more? Right now, it's just three. Burrow. Far side, got it. No, he gets out of the hands. Again. And Todd Grantham has brought three rushers. One time they pick up fourth and 19. The next two they drop the passes. I think Sullivan was worried about getting out of bounds and forgot so to too. catch the ball. But there's no reason for it, though, because on a first down, the clock stops. Another fourth down. Last time it was fourth and 17. No way they just rush three here. They're going to bring four, aren't they? No, it doesn't look like it. Florida. Well, it's not an LSU timeout. They don't have any help. Florida. So, 28 seconds remaining. In a game that has been a thrill a minute. Especially in the second half. LSU has won the last two times they played in Gainesville. In 14 and in 17. It's intercepted. Game over. The quick throw is complete. Jamar Chase. Chase City's red and black. <laughs> Play action for Burrow on first down. Has time running out of it. And the late throw. Nobody home over there except Tyson Campbell. He's one who expected to see some action today is in the lineup. They throw it out to him. Trying to make something happen out to the 25 yard. Georgia creeping up there like they might blitz. Delayed blitz. Burrow throws complete. And first down. Great effort. Terrence Marshall, as Gary said, second effort got six in the hole, and they run right behind him. And now it's play action and deep ball for Burrow. What a catch by Marshall again. Freshman on freshman, he beat Tyson Campbell.
Early in the game last week, he had one just like that, and Jefferson dropped it. This time, they make him pay. Little things that beat LSU. Burrow to the end zone, jump ball, knocked down. Yeah, there's that guy again. The, uh, big third down and five here in the red zone for LSU. Burrow throws late across the middle, incomplete. That's what they're having fun at. Anyway. So they made money in watching the game. <laughs> Burrow down the middle, complete to the tight end, Moore, and he's got a first down. Foster Moore. Third down and four. That's Jefferson in motion. Burrow throws out to him, complete for a first down. Study your game plan, you get ready to play again. He's going to keep it. Had an option to pitch it, kept it wide. How do they do it? Georgia Blitz is here. Burrow fires far side. Another nice pitch and catch. Jamar Chase. That's his third grade. 6'4 and about 218 pounds. And it's his call, and he's in. Touchdown, LSU. Unless the ball was out. The ball came loose, but probably after he crossed the line. And I know you're watching, and we'll try to carry on without you. Joe Burrow to throw on deep middle. Jefferson wide open. Justin Jefferson inside the 20, still fighting for yards. LSU's offense on fire right now. Well, when you get find a receiver, goes in motion, nobody follows him, and then Georgia messes up. Hand signals did not work. They were signaling to each other, and... Burrow in the gun, the quick toss is bottled. Incomplete Derek Dillon, the intended receiver, and down and set it. Here comes Walker. Got to Burrow, and Burrow had to just give... I would agree, this guy is all business when he runs this offense. Here he is running the offense on first down, rolling to throw and oh. rolling. And let's see, was it complete? No, I don't think so. No, he Dylan's had, out. He had. Edging up there as though they may blitz on third down and nine. They back out of it. Burrow rolling away from the pressure. He's going to keep it all the way here. Can he get there? I don't think so. Into his own. Short. Burrow, I don't know. They stand him up. He might not have gotten this. I don't think so. He'd have to get a favorable spot to get there. First of all, they got a favorable spot to begin with before they went for it on fourth down. Now, if they put it there, it's yes, a first down. it is. Pretty short. First down. A little down and two field goals. On the slant. Nice throw and catch, and finally DeAndre Baker says, they came my way. Stavon Sullivan made the grab. Well, and that's their big slant guy. Stavon Sullivan is 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, you know, 230 pounds, and this is the play they use him for. Wall off and throw the slant. Another third down for LSU. They come back the other way to Dillon, and he's got a first down. Reed tried to rip the ball out of there, makes the tackle, but it's another Tiger first down. Well, Back in Georgia territory at the 45, play action. Burrow wants a big one, deep, just over Dillon's outstretched arms. Man, he knew it. Nobody in the center of the field. He sees the free safety squat, go the wrong way, and he's got him. Just a yard too long. That they made against Florida in that game. Burrow, play action, going for all of it in the corner. Incomplete intended for Marshall. Being in the shotgun here. They're going to keep it on the ground with Burrow. And Burrow, he gets some of that back. back. First and 15. And a little problem in the backfield there. I'm not sure whose it was, but Burrow. Miscues. Burrow. Looks deep, now comes back shorter across the middle, complete to Jefferson. Trying to stretch it out to get whatever. Defense. They're one of the last seven is LSU. They better get set up. They weren't. Not even in their stances, but maybe it'll pay off for them. Burrow's got a throw, and it is caught. 
by Jefferson. I thought Burrow was giving up on this play. Joe looked, had nothing, wanted to get outside, couldn't get outside. So he finds someone at the last second and delivers it. Big first down catch there. And now a play action he wants. Oh, big one. And it's thrown away incomplete. First down at the 48. Burrow steps up in the pocket, going deep. Man there, overshot him. It was Jamar Chase. In Georgia thinking about a blitz off the corner. And now it's an option. Burrow's going to keep it. Nice job. Probably should have pitched it. Yep. Goes up the line going, I'm, I got this. And they're four for four. Five for five. And then four of them on offense. Burrow to the corner of the end zone. Jump ball incomplete intended for Stefan Sullivan. DeAndre Baker was covering. Yeah, and I like a good no call this time, too. These two guys are fighting for the ball. Two big, tall, tough guys. And let them fight. You mentioned earlier Sullivan's listed at 6'7. And Baker. Burrow looked over to him, throws it that way. Oh, he's lucky. And he lucky. He, he's fortunate because he threw it like with his third down. They got a fullback in there in an eye formation right now. Torrey Carter. The throw's going to be out to Jefferson on a wide out screen. And J.R. Reed's got that smart. at their own 28 yard line. Rolls to his right, throws on the run, knocked oh, down. If they played in big football games, it's not going to be easy to finish this game if you're LSU. Almost picked off of middle school because they went to the same middle school and Catholic High here in Baton Rouge. Today he's coming out of that shadow. Here's a throw out to the fullback, Carter. Doing Jefferson in motion. Play fake, Burrow loads it. Going deep middle, got a man. Jefferson on the catch in between two defenders. Well, I think Richard McCown. That close, Burrow again. That close, touchdown, LSU. And Georgia's dream of staying unbeaten and number two in the country is fading quickly in Baton Rouge. You knew this one was coming. And after Joe makes the touchdown, he comes back out and beating his chest. Remember, after last week. He uses all of his play clock. He does a pretty good job of it. And now he's going to keep it himself. Joe Burrow on the run. A stiff arm. And Burrow trying to ice it himself. I tell you, when we met with him, you could tell he had those competitive instincts. When you walk away and you compete at Ohio State for a job and you lose and you say, you know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to LSU. I know I got to play Alabama. I know I got to play Georgia. I want the challenge. He's taken it and he has come through for this team. What a day for Joe Burrow.